hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to film a gold and red christmas or holiday inspired look and this is what i came up with so if you're interested in this well in the video i don't do the gold on the lip i was just experimenting off camera and i kind of like it so i wish i would have done it but I didn't do it so you just see the plain red lip without the gold in the middle and I really wanted to film a talk through for you guys but my son is not letting it happen so I do have to do a voiceover so hopefully I'm trying to get my next video to do a talk through because I do like talking to you guys and yeah so if you want to see this look just keep watching the first thing I did was took Naked from the, the Naked One palette I took the color naked and put it in my crease and I'm sorry about my autofocus it freaking totally went out and I didn't know but it gets it I fix it throughout the rest of the video but yeah just put the color naked from the naked one palette in the crease and blend it out this is gonna be our transitional color After that, I took my 88 color palette from BH Cosmetics. It's falling apart a little bit. It's so old. It's about five years old. And I'm going to use the burgundy color that's in the last row, the second to last color in the last row. I'm going to put that right on top of the transitional color and in my crease and blend them both together. Picking up the Naked palette again, the Naked one, I'm going to go in with the color Half Bake and this is going to be my lid color. This is actually going to be a base that I'm using for another color that's going to go on top. But yeah, so just put this all over the, the lid and pat it on. I just took a clean blending brush and blended the gold and the burgundy together. Then I took the black from the Lorac Pro palette, the first one, and I'm placing it on my outer V. And I'm right now I'm just gonna place it with this brush and then I'm gonna grab a larger blending brush to blend it out. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and wet it with my Fix Plus. And then I'm going to take my ColourPop quad that I got, the Where's the Lights one, the Kathleen Lights one. And I'm going to use the color called Kathleen Lights. It's a pretty gold one and it's a, it has a lot of metallic to it. And I'm just going to pat that on and rub it on to my eyelid. You can actually use these eyeshadows with your fingers but I just prefer a brush. That's just me because I have fat short fingers. So I just use a brush and pat it, pat it on my lid. After I'm done with the gold um, eyeshadow, I'm just going to take a blending brush and add a little bit more of the burgundy color 
and blend out the gold with the burgundy and just add a little more of the burgundy because I want it a little bit more intense. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of the face before I do my under eye eyeshadow. And I'm going to take my Naked Concealer. This is the first time I've used it and I didn't know it applies so much, but... I blended it out really good, but it looks like I have a lot under my under eyes. But just make sure when that happens, you blend it out really good with your beauty blender. Because your beauty blender will pick up the excess. But, you know, just make sure you blend it out really good. going to set that quickly with the banana color from the Anastasia contour kit to make sure that nothing creases. After the concealer, I quickly did my eyebrows off camera and then I took the color naked to run it along the lower lash line so I could finish out my eyeshadow look. So you just take that and blend it under the eye. Then I took the same brush, dipped it in the burgundy, and run that right on top of naked to blend them two together to make sure the burgundy is not so harsh under my eyes. So those two blend well together. Then I took the first color in the Naked palette. I forgot the name, but I'll have it listed down below. I'm going to take that and highlight my brow bone and the inner corners. So that completed the eye look. So now onto the face. I'm going to contour a little bit with the Hula Powder from Benefit. Also use hula to contour my nose a little bit nothing too crazy just a little contour to slim it up a little bit so that completes this look please leave any comments below of any future videos you want to see if you have any suggestions or you want to just have a conversation with me just leave some comments below and please subscribe if you want you know a notification every time my beautiful face is on youtube <laughs> just joking but no for real please <laughs> subscribe thumbs up like comment do all those good stuff and if you're a new YouTuber and you want to collab with me, just let me know. We can get something done. You know, I'm gonna help. I want to help you guys build your channel, and I want to help build mine. So if you want to do any collabs, please let me know. And I have more holiday-inspired looks coming. So stay tuned for I guess what I'm singing. And do you guys actually like those? Because my sister told me <laughs> that them shits were annoying her. But I didn't want to do bloopers or stuff that's already, you know, people already do on YouTube. I wanted to change it up a little bit. So I thought that guess what I'm singing is something cool. And I love music and everybody does. So it's a cool way to incorporate music into my channel without getting like, you know, flagged for copyrights and all that stuff. So if you guys don't like it, let me know below if I should stop. Or if you do like it, just thumbs up this video or let me know in the comments below if you like so let me start rambling so yeah stay tuned for guess what i'm singing